Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today, I've got a real treat for you. This is something I'm really excited about. In what will probably be my final DOS Sember video, I present to you sending an SMS text message from MS-DOS. And to help assist us with this exercise, I'm going to use, once again, my trusty, tried and true Tandy 1000 HX. However, that won't be the only computer involved in today's exercise. I also have this Raspberry Pi Model 3B, which is running the server components that we need to facilitate a bridge between the Tandy and the real world. So enough talk, let's get right to it. So to connect in and send that SMS using the Tandy, we're going to be using IRC Junior from the MTCP suite. And here you can see I have the configuration set up with a nickname, user, and name. And we can go ahead and launch IRC Junior. Let's go ahead and use the register account to register ourselves. And from there we can use the opera command to supply a password. And an account has been created. At that point we could identify, but we should already be logged in, so we're good there. So that's good. At this point we can go ahead and add an account so that we can send a message to that XMPP endpoint. So for that, we're going to say account add jabber, which is typically what's used with XMPP. And the account I have is called pi at zombiepi.lan. Now that account has successfully been registered, but we do need to provide a password and we can use the opera command for that. Trust me when I say that the password has been added to the account. That's a password I don't want to share. I do apologize, but it has been added. So at this point, we can just go ahead and activate the account. And we do that by typing account and then on. And lo and behold, we are now logged in as that user. And we are free to send a message. And we can also see that Pi2 has joined the channel. And Pi2 happens to be the Android device that we will be using to send the text message. So with Pi2 in the channel, we're all set to send a message. Let's go ahead and do it. So to send a message, we can say slash msg to Pi2, just like you would any other IRC user. And then you say SMS send, and then you can put a contact in. Let's send a message to the obsolete geek. So you can specify the name and put two spaces. And now we can send a message. Hi, Rob. This is Retro Tech. Chris, writing you from my Tandy 1000HX. Huh, I wonder if he got the message. I guess we'll never know. Eh, let's exit for now. Chris. So something else you can do is actually show the last series of messages that were sent by issuing the SMS command and it'll show you the last five messages sent. Of course I do have numbers blanked out uh, and you can also receive messages in real time. Uh, Michael, what's your favorite kind of toy? All right and what holidays are coming up this week? Yeah, what else? There you have it. So how did we hook all of this up? Basically, four pieces of software. On the Tandy, we used MTCP's IRC Junior client for IRC. On the Raspberry Pi, we used a program called Biddleby, which is an IRC to XMPP bridge. On the Raspberry Pi, we also used an XMPP server called Prosody. And then on the Android phone, we used a client called MaxS. And with MaxS, you can install different modules. 
so that you can choose if you want to send messages, receive messages, etc. Also, since we're using XMPP as a protocol, we can use other clients like this modern Pigeon client. I'll just go ahead and click Add here and change the protocol to XMPP. Put in my username and put in the domain and a password and click Remember and then Add. From there, we can click Close and you can see that we're all set. So now we can go to this Pi2 user once again and run a command like SMS. And we can see the messages do come back. And here we have the Maxis application on Android. If we go to the More tab, we can see that we have a master address. That is the address from which we have been sending our commands, as well as a device account. And we can also go back here and see under Modules all of the different modules that are configured for purposes of sending and receiving SMS messages. So that's what I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. I was really excited about this workflow. Lots of fun. And furthermore, I need to give a shout out to one of my YouTube viewers who was very helpful in bringing this video together. So thank you, Zombie. I know that you're watching. And I do have a question for my viewing audience. Would you be interested in seeing a walkthrough and how this was done? If so, please leave a comment below and let me know. That's a wrap for today. Definitely subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up if you find it valuable. That helps me out with the algorithm and getting the message out. If not, feel free to give the video a thumbs down if you thought otherwise, that's fine too. That helps us decide what kind of content we make in the future. Thanks for watching as always. I can't wait till see you till next time. Bye for now.